Welcome. In this video, we're going to discuss the negation of the disjunction. Let's say we have the simple statements P, it is sunny, and Q, I am riding my bike. First of all, what is the disjunction of those two simple statements? Well, it would be, it is sunny or I am riding my bike. So then the question becomes, what would be the negation of that? Well, one way to write it would be, it is not the case that it is sunny or I am riding my bike. But what I would like us to do is to think of an easier equivalent way of writing that. And one way we can figure that out is by looking at this truth table where P or Q is false. And what we see is that P or Q is false occurs precisely when P is false and Q is false. In other words, exactly when it is not sunny and I am not riding my bike. And that is the negation. The negation is, it is not sunny and I am not riding my bike. To actually verify this, let's write the statements in symbolic form. For the first statement, we can write, it is not the case that it is sunny, which is P, or I am riding my bike, which is Q. We're claiming that that's equivalent to it is not sunny, which is not P, and I am not riding my bike, which is not Q. So to actually prove that these two statements are equivalent, we can show that the truth table for the left-hand side is identical to the truth table for the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and form the two truth tables. We'll start by filling in P or Q, which is found in the third column of this table. We have three truths followed by one false. So the negation of that would be three falses followed by one true. So our answer for the left-hand side is false, 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 true. Let's go over to the right-hand side and fill in that table. We know that P is two trues followed by two falses, so not P will be two falses followed by two trues. Q is true, false, true, false, so that means that not Q will be false, true, false, true. Now we need to form the conjunction. And remember that conjunction is true only when both parts are true. And both parts are true only in this last row. So the truth value there will be true. Everywhere else we've got at least one false. So the remaining truth values will be false. So we compare our answer on the left with our answer on the right. And we see that they are identical. So that means that indeed the left-hand side is equivalent to the right-hand side. So how do we find the negation of a disjunction? Well, notice that we in essence distribute the negation symbol through the parentheses. We first of all find the negation of P, which is not P, the negation of OR, which is AND, and the negation of Q, which is not Q. This is very similar to what we saw in sets where we had A union B complement. We distributed the complement through the parentheses and we got A complement intersection B complement. And this was part of De Morgan's law. So De Morgan's law applies to sets. De Morgan's law also applies to logic. They carry the same name. Both of these demonstrate De Morgan's law.